Welcome to Vet Ranch. This um, will be a bit of a graphic video, so if you are squeamish, you've been warned. This is Daisy. She is a young pit bull. Come here. And all that we know about her was, well actually we don't know much about her at all. We assume she was hit by a car. Um, she was seen at a veterinarian and emergency clinic last night, and this is a huge wound. I started, they had it all wrapped up. I started unwrapping it, and she's pretty painful, so I'm gonna have to um, probably anesthetize her or at least tranquilize her heavily just to see what's going on there. Um, but it looked, from the picture I saw, it looked like an old wound, so um, I don't think we're gonna be able to search with close this, at least not yet. She's also limping on the back leg. She's got scuffs and bumps all over her a lot of raw spots, so we've got her on some pretty good antibiotics. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get her anesthetized um, right now so we can kind of get a better look at what's going on here. So we're going to peel this bandage. This was a wet to dry bandage, so they had soaked it and it's made to help clean up the tissue, get all the necrotic stuff out of there and get some granulation tissue grown in. Ooh, that is a nasty thing. See, that's muscle right there, all this tissue, and there's no, if we closed it right now, it would just bust back open because it has all this nasty dead tissue and bacteria in there. So we're just going to clean it and probably do the same thing they did. We'll pack it with some stuff to help clean it out and create some more granulation tissue. And we'll wrap it up. This is called hydrotherapy. Basically, it's pretty obvious. We're just spraying it with water, tap water. Um, I'm going to do this for about 10 or 15 minutes. This will not only break loose a lot of the bacteria that's sitting in there, it stimulates the tissue to start regrowing as well. So I'm going to do this every day um, for a while until we get that wound all cleaned up. I am lining the inside of this wound with honey. The sugar, you can put either sugar or honey in these, and it actually helps um, clean out all the dead tissue and helps the granulation tissue spread. Um, I didn't even know this. I went to a continuing education course recently and they told us about this. And then I have all these gauze soaked um, with saline and I'm just going to stuff them all in here kind of like they were before and then I'll put dry gauze over them. The, the saline helps prevent these from sticking to the wound because um, if you have it have a dry one in there it'll stick and whenever you pull it out it'll just rip all that new baby tissue out. Um, we want that tissue to stay in there so I'm just going to pack it in here just on the open edges. We'll wrap a dry one over here and then we'll wake her up. Here is day three. We're cleaning out her wound again and uh, I think right now I'm going to go ahead and try to start suturing up the ends. I'm going to clean out this a little bit, um, surgically debride it a little bit and then start closing it up. I removed some of the granulation tissue and I'm suturing up this part of the wound here just because it's clean enough that we can start closing this end. I just finished suturing up um, about three inches there and uh, and I think there's a pretty good chance that's going to stay. It could dehiss and come open but I think it's going to work out. Um, so we'll just pack the rest of this. I'm going to put a bunch of sugar in there to help debride and then a uh, wet to dry bandage and we'll wrap her all up. Here's what Daisy looks after being wrapped up. Good girl. You good girl. Here's how it's looking on day five. I'm going to clean it up in here and then I'm going to try to suture most of it up. I'll put a drain tube in there because it's still not a 100% clean wound, but uh, we're getting really close. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do to close this wound up. Here's our drain tube. It runs starting over here, going up through the middle of the incision or the laceration and coming out right here. So this basically, after we close all this wound and cover up that drain tube, this will allow fluid to drain out and this helps when it has a, an infected wound like this. It allows that fluid to drain out so it doesn't fill up a big pocket there, which will impede healing. So we'll leave that drain tube in for a few days and then pull it. Y'all ready to see what she looks like? Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Good girl. There's her wound all sutured up. You can see that the drain tube is working and actually just dripped on the ground right there. This one has some bloody colored fluid coming out of it as well. Good girl, hold on. But that's exactly what we want it to do because if you left that all in there, it would just swell up and it would bust those sutures out. I just took her cone off so I could make this video and now she's wanting to lick and clean herself. But we're going to leave that in until it quits draining, which uh, usually takes um, probably another couple days. But she's doing great and I think it's going to take and she will be healed up in just probably another 10 days or so. So we'll check back in a little bit and let you know how she's doing. 
Incision's looking good, it's been a few days. We are going to go ahead and pull this drain tube out now. It's draining still a little bit, but not much anymore, so it's ready to come out. You gotta hold still, though. It would be better if she was standing. I'm, I can't even see these stitches. There we go. What? Oh, okay. I need kisses. Drain tube is out. Those little holes that it was going through will heal up in the next couple of days. And we will give you an update in a little while. Oh, come here! Hi! <laughs> come on! Come on! It's been a couple weeks since surgery with Daisy and uh, she's healed up very nicely. I went ahead and pulled the sutures out um, just a couple days ago. You can see, getting the shadow out of the way. Come here. Hold up a second. You can see it's healing up very nicely. Um, the inflammation's all gone down. That skin feels pretty normal and the, the suture line looks really nice. So she is effectively healed um, and she was limping really bad when we first got her too. That kind of just took care of itself over time. We kept her on some pain meds and she had just obviously bruised or sprained or strained that and uh, doing great now. The Vet Ranch channel got over 50,000 subscribers not too long ago, um, which is great. It's, it's growing really well and uh, I hope it just keeps growing. Um, we're being supported both in views and uh, financially. People are, are giving us enough money to take in dogs like Daisy who um, you know, have this giant wound but they don't have an owner to pay the bill. So, you guys are stepping in and acting as her, her owner and paying all of her vet bills. Um, so it's pretty cool. You guys are supporting me so I can support them. Um, for those that don't know, I, uh, I have another YouTube channel, Demolition Ranch. It has um, over 350,000 subscribers right now and, and it's growing really well too. Um, but I'd really like this channel to surpass it someday. Um, those Demolition Ranch videos are really fun to make. Um, but these Vet Ranch videos are very uh, rewarding. They, they're pretty meaningful to me and I feel like I'm making a difference with them. So I would love for this to someday be all I do is just YouTube veterinary videos um, and just, just fixing animals who don't have anyone to help them. So um, you guys keep supporting me. I will keep doing it and keep putting out videos, keep helping these dogs. Are you itchy down there? What's going on? Good girl. And as you can see, we're helping out some pretty good dogs. This is a very laid back girl and a very tough girl to go through all that she went through. Um, had that giant you know, wound that was this big on her back, wide open with rotten skin in there and all that bacteria and junk. And now she's gonna be a totally normal dog. So we're going to um, send her with a foster this week. Um, I'm gonna spay her before I send her off. We're gonna go ahead and spay her so she'll be ready to be adopted. But she's gonna go home with a foster and stay until she gets adopted. This, this dog will not go to a shelter that will euthanize her or anything like that. She will have a home, especially with as sweet as she is. She'll be easy to put in a home. <laughs> Are you itchy? She may have got a briar or something out here. But Anyway, thanks for watching Vet Ranch. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for supporting Daisy. And we will see you next time. Keep watching the videos. Keep sharing them because that helps a ton. And the likes and subscribes are awesome as well. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, babe. I know what you're going through. I know because you've been there too.